Hey, go to Coach. Okay, I'll try again. <laughs> Obviously, that was disappointing. Um, a lot of credit to them. Made two huge plays down the stretch. Um, and I just told our team, and I want to make sure I say this, like there is no, uh, there's no such thing as close losses. Um, I, I already know a lot of people say, ah, oh, just another close loss. Uh, as I said to our guys, like we, we can be a really, really good football team. To think that we were minus, minus – to turn the ball over four times, to think that we turned the ball going over in the half in the end zone, to think that we turned it over twice, twice – in the last two minutes of the game, and they still had to kick a walk-off field goal, um, you know, really shows what, what I think we can be. But the defense was dominant for long stretches, um, stopped the run early, turned it into a drop-back game. Um, we knew that their quarterback was really good for them, made some plays, including the final play. But, um, you know, for us, uh, this is the first game, and um, uh, we saw the things that we need to improve upon. We had a chance in two minutes. We have the ball at the 50. We need to go down and win that game, right? Uh, they played man. We got to, you know, scramble with the ball, throw the ball away instead of had a pick. So uh, we, no one's going to no one's gonna feel sorry for themselves. We're not feeling sorry for ourselves. Um, it, was, uh, it was a learning experience that we have to overcome. So um, uh, with that being said, I'm sure you guys have lots of questions. I'll, I'll go ahead and take those. How would you evaluate Jeff's performance tonight? Yeah, I'm not prepared. to. You know, obviously as a quarterback, you can't have those turnovers, right? Um, you know, um, you know even, even right before the half, you know, kind of an odd sequence, right? You know, either it's a touchdown or it's a false start. You know, kind of weird how that happened, right? Um, you know, but uh, I thought he had some really good moments. You know, he, he had some um, he had some key throws, you know, especially in that two-minute drive movements down the field. Uh, you know, obviously he, was our, he ran for over 100 yards. He was, he was a dynamic threat in the zone read game. But, you know, you have to protect the football, right? And so back, back foot throws and all those things, that's not what we need. We don't need that. Uh, I was prepared to go to overtime. I thought Sad did a really nice job, called some runs, got a couple first downs, turned it into the last drive. So we're going to go down there, take a shot at a long field goal or go out. But uh, this is a first step for Jeff, and we'll, uh, we'll coach him, and he'll come back. Um, you know, I thought the, the fumble – the fumble, you know, with two minutes left, like we're gonna we're gonna go try to run the clock out. You know, we're we're run the ball for six yards. Um, unfortunate that uh, that happened. So you evaluate the end of the first half when you're down on the inside the five. Would you do that differently? I don't think so. With eleven seconds, you know, I wouldn't kick a. It was eight seconds. They moved it back to eleven seconds. Um, you know, obviously un unfortunate that we, you know, unfortunate that we had the penalty, right? The ball's in the one foot line uh, with two timeouts. I mean, you can't, you can't ask for it any better than that, right? Uh, the one of the tails for today was the penalties, you know, and a credit to them. Great student section. It was loud. We had a couple false starts down there. Um, all things in game one you want to try to avoid uh, that we didn't avoid. And so that, you know, eventually that we all have to improve that. But um, with 11 seconds, you know, we're going we're gonna to take a shot. Um, um, you know, it's not open. We were hoping, you know, hoping the quarterback throws the ball through the back line. And we kick the field goal, take the points. I was really proud, though, of the team, right? You know, we came in, we said, it's 3 nothing at halftime. Is that going to affect us? And we went right back down there and we scored, right? We returned the kickoff with a great play by Ramir. Uh, we, ran, we ran the play, um, the double reverse pass. We scored a touchdown. And, hey, we're off and playing football again. So um, I thought that we showed resilience in that moment. Had he been doing better with the fumbles as camp was finishing up? I know you said the one late in camp that had been. Yeah, he had the, he had the, he had the in the scrimmage. You know, he fumbled the football, um, and um, you know, um, uh, he fumbled it a couple times. And so, um, you know, we we know that Anthony can make a ton of plays. He has to protect the football, and especially in those moments, right? We're in five points. It's in two minute, four minute. Everyone on the team knows how we want to run the football. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out. And, you know, Anthony uh, tried to fight for more yards. Credit to their guys. So you saw the replay up there. Came in and punched the ball out. That's championship football, and that's. You know, they made the play at the end that we needed to make. We couldn't make a play at the end, and they did. So um, in terms of Anthony, you know, I'm never going to throw a guy under the bus. You know, he, he feels terrible in there, but there were a lot of plays we could have fixed better. Is there a reason why he's in Why is he in at that moment if, you, if you've seen that concern throughout camp? Yeah, you know, um, uh, Coach, uh, Coach EJ put him in, thought he was going to break that run. Uh, he runs that run really well. I thought he made a good run. Um, you know, uh, um, it just it's what happened, right? You know, I mean, I, I, again, I want, I want to be careful not to say anything that makes me feel like I'm taking a shot at, at uh, Anthony. He's worked hard at his ball security. He ran the ball a lot last year. Um, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, but um, uh, that was the call that was made. Coach, Coach put him out there. I thought he made a good run, made a guy miss. He had some good runs. Unfortunately, didn't hold the football. I think for us, you know, we got we, we trust the players to go make the plays, and um, um, unfortunately, we didn't make that one. I know that Jeff Sims is, is asked to do hard things, and he's a great athlete. Did you ask too much of him tonight? With all the running that he had to do, and then some of the things that you were asking him to do. I don't think so. Uh, he, you know, he's. Um, I mean, he is a dual threat player. He's going to run. I mean, 
I don't, you know, he wasn't running quarterback power and getting three and four yards. I mean, he was coming out with some big runs and had, had a chance for some more big ones. So when you have a guy like that, you have to let him spin, you know, um, um, you know, I think, I think one of the big things was just some of the penalties. We only had three drives in the first half and some of the penalties, you know, one was a long drive. You know, we took the ball in the second half. We took it the last drive. We took it from the 10 and went down and, you know, kicked that field goal. So, um, you know, I thought we put some, put, put, put some things on it, but he's one of our more dynamic playmakers. Right. And, um, you know, he, he, like all quarterbacks, just can't throw the ball off his back leg, you know, especially in that situation there at the end. Um, he knows that situation. We'll go back and look at it. What could we have called differently for him? But make no mistake, I have a ton of uh, confidence in Jeff. What kind of a spark did Marcus Washington give you in the second half? Yeah, it was good to get Marcus out there. You know, he loves to play the game. IGC went down. It looked like maybe it was a serious injury. I don't know. We're going to wait to see. Um, so it was good to see him get out there and uh, fly around. You know, he's healthy. You know, he sat the first half, came in the second half. And, um, you know, moving forward, I think he'll be a, a key contributor for us. Is there a reason he sat in the first half? Well, yeah, he, he was suspended in the first half from, you know, uh, from the summer just for, you know, nothing disciplinary, just academic concerns. You mentioned the end of the first half with the penalty and, and the review. Did you, get a, did you get an explanation before you left the field for the locker room of why they marked off the penalty if they were due to play the penalty? Yeah, I got in the, at the end, in the second half, and basically it was um, – it was that um, we ran up, we got on the ball, uh, we false started, they stopped it, so it wasn't a play. So then they had time to then review it, so they looked back. So it was, it was difficult. I mean, they didn't have the OTO, o two o in the second half. They couldn't talk to each other. So at the end of the day, we just can't false start. You know what I mean? We have to get that ball across the goal line. Um, so, but I thought that drive show was a, was a precursor for some things to come, you know, in terms of what I think we do well. And I thought that's how we were going to finish the drive at the end of the game. I thought we were going to push the ball down there and make some things happen. Did you anticipate Jeff running it 19 times tonight? Well, some of those are sacks, right? College football and all that, you know. But um, we knew that we knew that we had some plays that was like a a counter sweep one way and a quarterback run the other. And so they just kept, you know, giving him the ball, so he kept pulling it. So. Um, you know, we, we knew he'd be explosive in that regard. H how many of the sacks and scrambles, I don't know. But in terms of called runs, you know, we, we had one play, we, you know, the zone read with the pull, we called a couple times. Um, but he did scramble some and drop back. You held on to 55 rushing yards. I mean, how would you evaluate the defensive performance and coupled with that, the, the Ty Robinson uh, targeting how, how big a loss did, did that prove? Yeah, you know, Ty's one of our best players. And so obviously we'd like to have him out there down the stretch. You know, we played a lot of guys. Um, uh, to, to be fresh for the fourth quarter, and we were expecting the fifth quarter, we were expecting overtime, you know. So um, I thought the defense, you know, played really well at times, but, you know, this is a team game. That's the biggest thing, right? Like, we're not going to go down the path of that uh, we had a chance on defense to stop it on fourth down and end the game. Um, we weren't able to do it. Um, I, I like their demeanor. I like the way that they, uh, I like the way that they kept taking the field. And uh, as I told them, no, no one feels sorry for us. <laughs> we got to just be a little bit better next week, uh, grow from this. Yeah, I, I don't even, I mean, uh, that's kind of what I said at the beginning, like, um, you know, this is the, this, we're on the front end of something that we're building. And, um, you know, I think at, at the end of the day, uh, when you look at, you know, to be able to rush for that many yards, and, I, you know, I know some of them are the quarterback, but, you know, they give you 11 eligible receivers, 11 eligible players, right? You can use who you can. Uh, to, 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 I look at it the other way, to think of the mistakes we made, to have seven penalties, to have the four turnovers, and still, you know, a good team like Minnesota that averages nine wins a year have to, you know, kick the field. Now, we have to fix it. We have to get better. Um, but I, I'm, not, I'm not even thinking about anything that ever happened before I got here. It has nothing to do with me. Um, I don't want our players to think about that. We, we're, I'm thinking about what's next. I'm thinking about getting back and watching this tape tomorrow. I'm thinking about next week. And, uh, you know, we, we've got to generate some more yardage and points on offense. We have to be, a little, we have to be more efficient. Um, we have to be better early on. We were like four, they were converting third downs. We weren't. We got better. We, we, needed, we needed to play this game. We needed to come back and figure it out. And I think you'll see a team that just gets better. Well, we knew versus Minnesota, we knew that there wouldn't be a lot of possessions, right? We knew, you know, the kind of the way they play. Typically, that you know, it's been like 34, 35 minutes time of possession. You know, I think it was right at like, you know, they were at 30 and a half and we were at 29 something. So um, I certainly didn't envision the seven penalties and did not envision the, um, I certainly did not envision the uh, turnovers, right? Like that's not what I thought we would do. So, um, 
you know, but I knew it'd be a close game. I knew it'd be a battle. You know, they were top 10 defense in some categories for a reason, you know, and um, we knew it would be a challenge. It just, uh, if we don't turn the ball over, if we can fix the penalties, I think we have a chance to be a little bit better than we were tonight. Your touchdown, last touchdown throw from Sims to Bullock, um, not exactly as scripted. Yeah, you know, we call, we call that play, that play's called Osborne. It's for, it's for a coach. You know, Ron said he likes trick plays, and so we knew we were going to call it when we got to the 35-yard line, so AG threw it back to Back to Jeff. Unfortunately, you know, it was a bad, I don't know if it was a bad throw, a bad catch, whatever was on the ground. I was hoping he was just going to pick it up and run it, but um, uh, he was wide open. So, you know, I, I just think that when we go back and watch the tape, what we're going to see is a lot of plays like that, a lot of opportunities like that. We had, you know, we had an RPO on that one, you know, we went three and out on that one drive. You know, Tommy Hill ran behind everybody. We took a shot, we couldn't get it to him, right? Um, then we come back on the next play, we had an RPO to Billy Kemp. He's running right down the middle of the field, wide open, ball gets batted. So, you know, it's my job and it's our job to show the guys like, hey, these plays are here. You're not, you're not a bad team. These plays are here. We got to go make them. But again, lamenting and feeling sorry. You know, some guys started. When the game was over. Some guys started running the locker room. I stopped them right there. I mean, we're the University of Nebraska. Like we, we, everything we do, we do in a first class manner. We hate that we lost. We're disappointed. We're disappointed that you know fans saw us lose. But um, we're gonna come back. And so. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I think there were some opportunities there that, that, that'll be there moving forward. We just got to make the plays. All right. Thank you, guys.